if you clicked on this video, then you are in the right place at the right exact time. And that, my friends, means you guys are a starseed. As you can see in the title, you're a true starseed. If you see any of these signs or if any of this happens to you, if you notice these happening to you, and yeah, I hope you guys stay tuned to the very end and let's get right to it. So one of the first signs that you are a true, genuine starseed, this world of this life that you are living in, you're not from here obviously, is a lot of children and animals are going to be very, very drawn to you. A lot of animals are going to be very you know, comfortable with you, especially kids, um, just, I mean, people in general, you know, a lot of people are going to be very attracted to your energy, your aura, right? Um, and that's just because, obviously, we're not from here, and we, we emanate a huge, beautiful, bright light, like, our aura is very bright, and a lot of people just like to be around us, and there's something about you that's different from everyone else, obviously, they're not a star seed, you are, my friend, so, yeah, you know, embrace it, enjoy it, you know, accept it. Moving on to the other sign that you are a true starseed, and that is, I kind of was talking about it earlier, I don't know if you guys saw that, but you do not belong here. You feel like you live somewhere else. You feel like you're not from Earth, because you're not, right? We're from a different galaxy, or a different planet, if you will. You know, there was like a sense of like, it was like a homesick kind of feeling, and I've, I've always had that like my whole life. You know, I've always, like, I've always stargazed my whole life. I love looking at the moon, the stars, all that stuff. I'm, like, you know, wishing for something that I don't, I'm not aware of yet. Um, it's, like, at one point you were aware of something, obviously, before coming here to Earth, reincarnating, right? Um, <clears throat> to do what you're meant to do, your mission, right, that God wants us to do and fulfill which we are going to do it, you know, you just gotta stay close to God, of course. You know, the sense of homesick sickness, right? Like feeling, you know, different, feeling like an outcast. You know, a lot of star seeds are outcasts. We're very different people. So yeah, it's just, you guys don't feel like you are from here. You know, you guys feel like an outcast. You don't feel good being here on earth you know what i mean like it's like you're kind of exhausted being here that's how i feel like i feel like i'm just not in the place where i need to be like i'm i i'm here i'm meant to be here as you guys are too but there's a sense of exhaustion a little bit from time to time and you want to go you're just like mm, i'm done <laughs> And there's that sense of homesick and, you know, feeling like you just don't belong and you don't really see eye to eye with a lot of people. If they don't see eye to eye with you, people have no idea what the flip you're talking about when you talk about galaxies and, you know, the universe and law of attraction. People, like, look at you like you're crazy. Like, and it's like, no, I'm right. <laughs> like, it's very true. Um, we create our own reality, you know? every day, right? And people are not aware of that. They don't know how to apply that to their life, which is unfortunate, but that's why we're here on YouTube, us starseeds, lightworkers, to show y'all the way, right? <laughs> and to help you guys out <laughs> toward a better life, right? Anyways, getting on into the other sign that you are a true starseed. So this next sign is kind of a little bit of a weird one that I came across, but it stems very true for me and for a lot of star star seeds and um, light workers, if you will. So being a star seed, I guess, over time, once you really envelop into that role of who you are, right? Once you accept who you are, you become a little bit different like your lifestyle changes and one of the lifestyle changes is your diet so a lot of star seeds are vegan or they turn vegetarian right or like maybe uh pescatarian um or what's the other one uh was it paleo something like that like your diet changes like for the better right 
So yeah, being a star seed, your diet might change, you know, for the most likely, for the most part, you know, maybe some will eat meat every now and then, doesn't matter. Maybe if you just really love meat, you just eat it, but it just moderation, not every day. But for me personally, I started going toward more of a vegetarian diet, not so much vegan, because vegan is a little pricey. Um, especially, you know, now with inflation and all that stuff going on. Um, but vegetarian is very easy. Well, pescatarian for me personally, because I still like seafood. Um, but I've been a pescatarian, vegetarian for a couple years now, for a while. I stopped eating red meat. Um, I just lost the taste for it. And that's probably what's going to happen for you guys too, you know, on your journey, if you are, you know, awakening to this new you essentially right you're like you're waking up to who you truly are you know you're a starseed right or a light worker you know and you're like i feel different it's because you are and you're gonna start liking different things you know things that used to satisfy you and make you happy don't anymore essentially and new things that are coming into your life like a new diet right being a vegetarian or a vegan is gonna make you happy and it's gonna make you feel really good you know, eating healthy, being healthy, you're just gonna, you know, drinking a lot of water, you're just gonna want to better your life, essentially, being a star seed, you know. So yeah, that one's kind of a weird one, you know, being a vegetarian, vegan, paleo, whatever, you know, just being more healthy and just wanting to better your life in general, you know, that means you guys, that's another sign that you are a true star seed. Another big sign that you are a true star seed is you're very empathic. So I know a lot of people talk about this one. This one's a very big one for me personally. You are very empathic. You feel a lot of people's emotions all the time. You know, sometimes you wish you can turn it off, but you can't. You know, when someone's crying, when someone's upset, you feel it. You feel that energy, you feel that emotion coming from it. It's like you're essentially like absorbing it. You absorb a lot of people's emotions. You're, you guys are like a sponge. You know, when you're a starseed, it's, it's kind of hard, you know? That's why you guys have to cleanse and you have to make sure your spiritual hygiene is, like, good and in check, right? And sometimes, yeah, we kind of fall off a little bit. Um, especially if we're really busy with work or just busy with life in general, right? We forget to cleanse ourselves. We forget to, you know, take baths. We forget to, you know sage or energy cleanse you know just you know using crystals right um having crystals help us just feel better um that's a bonus one too by the way if you guys like crystals a lot and you guys are so you try to surround yourself with crystals and bring crystals or everywhere everywhere you go that's for me personally that's a sign that you are a star seed and you just love the energy of crystals and stones um because they emanate different energies each one of them um, and they help you out, you know, throughout your journey, throughout life, right? Until you don't need them anymore, right? Anyways, <laughs> yeah, you know, being super empathic, you know, it's a big thing, it's a big deal, but it's it's essentially like a blessing and a curse, but I'm trying not to say that anymore, or think that, have that, you know, mentality. Maybe some of you guys do. I did for a while, but honestly, that's our gift. You know, that's a gift that we were given and we have to accept it and embrace it you know being empathic being able to feel things stronger than other people you know that's that's a very powerful gift to have you know what i mean because you can really connect with people and that's the whole point of being empathic you know god gave us that gift for a reason he used it in many different ways right but mostly to connect with god's people and i think that's really freaking awesome right and just help people, help people feel better. You know, we have a very healing energy too that comes with our empathic abilities, right? We heal a lot of people, we listen to them, we're very good listeners. You know, when we hug people, we speak life into them, you know, we just emanate this very good, loving, light energy about us and a lot of people feel it. And that's why people like to be around us, that's why kids like us, animals, you know, you get the picture, right? Another major sign that you guys are a true 
Starseed is that you guys love your freedom. <laughs> and I'm just not speaking from being a Sagittarius. I'm Saggy. We love our freedom. Love it like crazy. We don't like to be like in a box or nope. Mm -mm, we don't like that. Being Saggies. We just want to do as we please, right? Here on this planet. With the time that we have here. We don't want to be in a box. We don't want to do the nine to five. We don't want to work for anybody. Like, my mentality with that is gone. I don't work for anyone but myself. And I always will. I want to create businesses. I want to do a lot of things. Like, I have a lot of ideas that I want to manifest into reality. And they will over time. It's going to take time, of course. But I have to believe in myself and know that it's going to happen. Just like you guys. Just like all y'all watching me, whoever's watching me, if you guys are new, welcome. But being a starseed, you guys need that freedom. You guys crave it, essentially, right? In everything that we do, you know, everything you do, you know, you guys just love to be, be you. You know, you want to have the freedom to be who you are. And starseeds really do not like to feel stuck at all. That's how I feel usually, that's how I feel about it, that's how I think about it. I never want to feel stuck, you know, and if I feel like I'm in a rut or stuck, like I try to look at that, see what's going on, you know, let it pass, you know, maybe it's something I need to heal, maybe trauma, I don't know. Um, but us starseeds, we love freedom, you know, and that's a big one. We don't like to work for anybody, we love just doing our own thing. And you guys probably love doing your own thing. You guys don't like to conform to society and what society wants y'all to do. No. You guys dress how you want to dress. You look how you want to look. You know, you do your makeup, whatever, your hair, you know, shoes, um, you know, living off the grid, if you will, right? <laughs> you know, you guys don't like to do the norm like everybody else. You know, 9 to 5, wake up, same time. It's okay to have a routine. It's okay to do that, but, you know, starseeds work a little bit differently than that. You know, they have a routine, but they do it their own way, not how everyone else does it, right? So that's another sign <laughs> that you guys are a starseed. So the last sign that you are a true, genuine starseed, and that sign is you guys will have, or you already have had, a spiritual awakening like a deep spiritual awakening um and throughout our journey we're gonna have multiple awakenings and i didn't really realize this until like maybe a couple months ago um you know it's just kind of bound to happen like we're going to wake up and have realizations to other things that we need to wake up to but if you're a true starseed you know right before you really figure out you are a starseed you're gonna have this huge awakening you know it's like a kundalini awakening if you will um like an ego death right because your ego has to kind of die a little bit um or a lot for you to really embrace who you are you know on this planet and who you are for yourself and for this world uh it's really intense these awakenings can be very overwhelming um it was very overwhelming for me I fought it pretty hard, but I finally surrendered eventually years ago. Um, my awakening happened, I want to say, it was like during my divorce and it's like about three years ago, three, three and a half, like almost the three, yeah, about three years ago and it was 2018 and it happened pretty abruptly. It was weird. I was like, what's going on? Am I dying? Like, I don't know. It felt really <laughs> weird. <laughs> that's just how it felt for me I don't know how it felt for you guys but it was pretty intense and crazy but I'm fine now right <laughs> I'm better than I ever was three years ago I've completely changed into a different person I'm still changing and evolving right and you guys will too you know you guys will change and evolve as a starseed as a light worker right but yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I will see you guys in the next one. Please stay tuned. And yeah, please take care of yourself, love yourself. And in case you don't see it, good afternoon, good evening, good night. And catch you later. Bye.